here are today's top stories. The Division of Tangub City, Misamis Occidental, implements a new program aimed at improving the quality education in the city. The JEPED launches its Matatag K-10 curriculum. Actress Lovely Abelia undergoes surgery due to infection after childbirth. <music> Break for years to deliver news beyond limits, giving you the biggest and most talked about news of the millennia. Good day, Philippines. Good day, Misamis Occidental. I am Abigail Italia. I am Grace Zamora. And this is Filipinas Ngayon. The Division of Tangum City Misamis Occidental implements a new program aimed at improving the quality of education in the city. Here is Janet Del Monte will give us the report. The program will include a series of training workshops for teachers and modern teaching methods, as well as the implementation of new technologies in the classroom to enhance the learning experience for the students. The department has also announced that it will be increasing its budgets for educational resources including books, computers, and other learning materials. In an effort to provide all students with the best possible educational opportunity. This is Jeanette Del Monte, Filipinas, Ngayon. The DepEd launches its Matatag K-10 curriculum. For us to be updated, here is Monique Traya. Monique? This curriculum reduces the number of learning areas for students to focus on foundational skills and will now focus on five areas. Curriculum Director Jocelyn Andaya says that they decongested the curriculum by 70%. Vice President and DepEd Secretary Sarah Duterte says that the revised curriculum comes after two years of review. Teachers and learners were overburdened with lessons and other school tasks and activities. The result was devastating for our learners. It compromised their mastery of fundamental skills such as reading and solving simple math problems. A 2021 World Bank study revealed over 90% of Filipino students at the age of 10 struggle to comprehend age-appropriate text. This is Monique Chaya for Pilipinas Ngayon. Late night study sessions get you feeling like this? Introducing Nescafe Original, the perfect companion for your late night studies. Hey there! Need some pick me up? Nescafe Original, your study buddy, brewed for moments that matter. Wow, it tastes amazing! It's keeping me awake and focused! Available at your nearest store, grab your Nescafe original today and stay alert through these long nights. I'm Rochelle Alpas from Pilipinas Ngayon, and I'm here to bring you the latest weather update for Tangub City, Misamis Occidental. Today is September 24, 2023, and here is the current weather condition. Tangub City is currently experiencing a scattered thunderstorm with a temperature of 32 degrees Celsius, and the probability of rain is 70%. Now, let's take a look at the three-day weather forecast for Tangup City. On September 25 of 2023, expect a thunderstorm with a high of 32 degrees Celsius and a low of 24 degrees Celsius. On September 26, 
expect a thunderstorm with a high of 31 degrees Celsius in the low of 23 degrees Celsius. And on September 27, expect a thunderstorm with a high of 31 degrees Celsius in the low of 23 degrees Celsius. There you have it, the weather forecast for Tangub City in the Samis Occidental. Make sure to stay prepared for possible thunderstorms. And don't forget to bring an umbrella in case you're heading out. Stay tuned for further updates and don't forget to check back for the latest information. This has been Rochelle Apas and I'll be back with more weather updates. And until then, take care and have a great day. Actress Lovely Abelia undergoes surgery due to infection after childbirth. Ivy Canyada, please give us the information. Just days after she gave birth to her son, Liam Emmanuel, Lovely Abelia Manalo suffered from an infection that necessitated surgery. The actress disclosed this as she underscored how every family has their own struggles. Lovely Abelia said, Our current situation is excruciating for our family, especially for me. Four days after giving birth, I had an infection and needed to undergo surgery again. This was worse than giving birth via normal delivery. While she opted not to expand on her condition, Abelia expressed her gratitude to those who donated breast milk for her son, vowing that she will also extend a helping hand to nursing moms once she gets better. Lovely Abelia Manalo said, I cannot breastfeed my son or even give him the breast milk I pumped from me because I am taking antibiotics. This is Ivy Canyada from Pilipinas Ngayon. And those are the biggest and most talked about news of the millennia. Once again, I am Abigail Vitalia. I am Grace Zamora. Breaking barriers to deliver news beyond limits. This is Filipinas Ngayon. Ngayon.